right, I am out here with my friend and my student, Marissa, and we finished up our lesson, but she's gonna help me out with uh, a very important point on eyes, eyes and connecting with the ball. And I'm, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna put Marissa on the spot. I'm gonna get her, uh, her in view here, and I'm gonna ask Marissa to look into the camera there, and I want you to say your ABCs backwards. Oh gosh. Okay, try it, try it and go. Z, Y, X, V, U, T. Very good. I think we got our point. So, <laughs> what did you notice about Marissa's eyes? So, yes, Marissa was looking all over the place. When you're in deep thought, your brain is really trying to, it, it captures your eyes, and your eyes are trying to look for whatever it is that, um, uh, that you're looking for. And if we lose that connection of your eyes to your body's kinetic movements, you know, whatever it is that we're doing, your eyes aren't gonna help you accurately, and in this case in tennis, strike the ball. So I'm gonna drop feed Marissa some balls. I've got some, some uh, targets down here on the other side, and they're the nets down on the other side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her not look at anything else She's not allowed to look at the nets down there. She's not allowed to uh, look anywhere other than the ball. And we're gonna see how accurate she is in her ball strike. All right, let me set that up and let's Easiness. see how it goes. So as you can see, Marissa took some practice shots. Not really, missed them all, none in the basket. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm gonna drop feed her balls here. If I can get my cart to stop moving. And she's going to see if she can hit balls into the targets on the other side there. Um, and she's not allowed to look up. She's got to keep her eyes on the ball the entire time. She's not allowed to look across the net the entire time that I'm drop feeding her. So I'm have you move back to this. All right, so I get back already, and I want you to go ahead and cross court. You can look first, so you kind of know where you're going, but you cannot cross look court, anymore. Don't look anymore. Cross court. being you don't need to be looking up it's that microsecond that we take our swing and we take our eyes off the ball and we look up that's usually where we miss if we can keep our eyes helping our body with the swing we're gonna make a better accurate shot try to keep your eyes on the ball use that example go out there and tell somebody to do their ABCs backwards watch where their eyes go and that's what's happening on the court when we make a lot of mistakes. We're thinking, where are my opponents going? What's going on as that ball is coming to you? Your eyes are disconnected at that point and your accuracy goes down when we have that disconnection. All right guys, give that a try. Let me know how it goes.